you, you're out there. We're up here. We've got to do it. You know, plus we got we got we got we got bags, plus boxes, plus words. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> We're outside the Oxford Playhouse, which on Wednesday of fifth week will play host to uh, Milk and Two Sugars production of Noises Off by Michael Frayn. Uh, we're going to go and talk to director Helena Jackson and some members of the cast to hear about how they're getting on with some rehearsals in a play that is all too full of rehearsals. Well, we're not getting a new popular when we think the sardines are lovely. So what do you Same. want to change? The doors, the boxes, the bogs. We can't stop changing things now, though. I'm just saying. Words. 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 Um, you're uh, in your second year directing Noises Off. Yep. Now, um, it's, a, it's a farce, I'm told, but it's a slightly unusual farce. Yes. Because uh, it's basically a farce within a farce. Yeah, there's quite a few levels. Right. Yeah. So does that not get a little bit, given you've got two sets of rehearsals going on in one rehearsal, does that not get a little bit confusing? Not really, because we started the, the, the play within the play called Nothing On. We did that in the first two weeks of rehearsals. Oh, OK. And right. I didn't, well, I kind of directed it, but we did a lot of improv sessions where the person playing the director Lloyd directed right. the cast and everyone in character, so yeah. it was kind of a, it, it, was, it was very much a slightly meta way of doing things, yeah. so it was really nice because it meant that the cast could really develop their own characters, and we kind of saw that in the actual farce there were a lot of kind of relationships with the built up and all kind of hatred and all sort of tensions, and so we actually made those build up during that two week period. So do you, th from, a, from an acting point of view, how, how would one separate your role within Nothing On from Noises Off? I mean, I'm, I'm not really an actor, so that was my very much their job but I just think it's it, it's getting the little ticks and stuff and it's basically about kind of over exaggeration the fact that you have one character going to play a certain way and everything else is just going to turn it up a notch so we played a lot around with just taking the piss out of each other taking the piss out of our friends taking their kind of ticks and gestures yes. and making them bigger until they just became plainly ridiculous and then scaling them down again till they were kind of acceptable now I'm done don't go away I'll go and look <laughs> Sardines. No, I mean, no, I take the sardines. You leave the sardines and you put the receiver back. Okay, I put the receiver back. And you leave the sardines. And I leave the sardines. You leave the sardines. Put the receiver back and I leave the sardines. Right. R right, we've changed that. Um, could you tell us a bit about, firstly, who you are in the first play, and secondly, how that relates to the character you're playing within the next play? Um, well, I'm playing Lloyd, who's just one character, because uh, he's not in, he's not in Nothing's On. Oh, so he's, 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 he's the director okay, right. of Nothing's On. Uh, so he's the director. No, I just quickly want to point out that Tom has grown his hair especially. Yeah, uh, he's you know sort of method acting it, it you know, in the vein of. Day Lewis and uh, <laughs> Marcel Marcel. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, mm, yes, well, it's not midnight yet. Uh, still got the whole of the rest of the play to do, so why don't you carry on from your lines? Squire, Squire, and Hackham, and hold on. Okay, I open my mouth. I never know if it's going to come out. Three oranges and two lemons and a banana. Yes, and go out again with the newspaper. News? Oh, it is the newspaper. Well, mm. I'm, I'm playing Dotty, who is okay. playing Mrs. Clackett. Right. In uh, the kind of inner play. Um, Dotty is a kind of uh, mature lady with a, with a twinkle in her eye, um, sort of sleeping with a lot of cast members. She's put a lot of money in the show, so I'm thinking she's probably trying to get her money's worth in terms of sexual congress with as many of these people. Now, on that note, there, there's quite there's quite a lot of sort of geriatric uh, philandering. Yes. So, speaking as twenty somethings, how does it feel to enter into the sex life of the uh, the sexagenarians? <laughs> Yeah, it's a wonderful premiere. There's no actual sex. There's no actual sex. No, I think uh, your, your, your viewing figures will have just collapsed. Yeah. Um, no, no. I mean, play it off. Yeah. Well, 
I'm so Tom says, no sex, sex. Yeah, there's, some, there's a lot of implied hanky panky. It's the dress, Gary, honey. It's the dress rehearsal. Oh. So when was the technical? So when's the dress? We open tomorrow. Oh, we're all figuring it's a technical. Aren't we, love? It's all those words, my sweetheart. Look at all the other words. Oh, it's not to my bed. Oh, it's coming up like oranges and lemon. Listen, Dottie, your words are fine. Your words are better than that. Oh, do you know what the Isn't that right? Sorry? I mean, so, okay, so, you <laughs> say, you know, okay, that's fine. Good Dottie, my precious, you've been playing this kind of part for Oh, what's you serious? All right, so you're off. No, 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 but here we are, and we're all of us pretty much feeling like, oh my god, we open tomorrow, we're going to get a fortnight to rehearse, we don't know where we are, but my god, here we are. <laughs> That's nice, my sweet, isn't that right, Lloyd? Beautifully put, Gary. I know, Lloyd is like just a bit of a bastard. Yeah. Um, but, you know, he's kind of, he, he's quite sarcastic, so I suppose I, I like, can identify with that. Um, and he's a bit condescending and disdainful. Hence the hat. Yeah, it's, 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 it's sort of, it says like, oh yeah, mm. that sort of, that sort of oh, face, yeah, in a haircut. We shall not bother to chill the champagne. All these doors. Only a handful, really. Uh, study, kitchen and stuff, and doing sales flat for housekeeper. Terrific. And which one's the... Oh, you know. The usual office. Mm -hmm. Through here. We've been Now, while those facades... Oh! I'm oh, sorry, I thought I was not here. I'm not here, I'm off. I mean, it's the royal, you know, when they wear those acts and they're all covered in fruit. And who are you? Oh, um, I'm from the ancients. From the ancients. Squire, Squire, Hackam and Dudley. Ah, uh, which one are you then? Squire, Squire, Hackam and Dudley. I'm Trembleway. Now you've uh, you've mentioned Lloyd Dallas, who's obviously directing the play yeah. within the play. Do you, as a director of the play within the play within the play, do yes. you uh, do you find any so many parallels? So yeah. many parallels. Yeah. Lots of sarcasm. Sarcasm is a great tool. Um, yeah, just generally sitting there going, no, no, you take the sardines off. No, 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 but you leave, but you leave that on. You don't take this off. And the actor will go, but why do I take it off? Like, it's much, it's pretty, they've got hands, it's much more natural to leave it on. You just go, well, that's what happens. Well, as I say, hopefully it will all come together on the night. It will. Um, are there any parallels between Lloyd and the real director of the play within the play, Helena? Or is that. Is, uh, <laughs> In, 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 in that Lloyd uh, essentially has has a fantastic vision. Yeah, uh, and, and you both you both got the same hair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, Helen is probably Lloyd's good. incredibly. I think her slightly is probably nice. probably slightly better. Lloyd's incredibly good looking. Yeah. Um, really caring. He's ca yeah. Lloyd brings us food. Exactly. You know, Lloyd Lloyd know, knows what he wants and he knows how to get it. Um, Milk and Two Sugars Productions will be putting on Noises Off on Wednesday of fifth week. This is Jamie Gardner, reporting for Charwell TV. You have decided to take the newspaper. <clears throat> Always the same story, isn't it? It's a weight off your mind, it's a load off your stomach. And off at last, like, uh, leaving the receiver. 